Welcome to this hot question video in association with Shop Floor Electrical, quality branded products at discounted prices, your 24 hour online trade counter. Our question today is from Be Safe London Electrical in connection with the Ideal Insure Connector Box, and he asks, as for not using in a ring final with 16 amp insure box, could you not use one on each leg, therefore two times 16 amps equals 32 amps? So, our viewer here is referring to the fact that Gary stated in the video that you couldn't use this connector box to extend the cable in, say, a ring final circuit. Now, Be Safe London Electrical seems to be asking if we could perhaps split the ring, perhaps like this, and then insert one of the connector boxes in each cable to extend the ring to a new socket. So something like this. And as they're both rated at 16 amps, this box and this box, that gives us a safe connection. Well, we can find a couple of clues to the answer to whether this is acceptable or not in BS7671 in Appendix 15. Because in Appendix 15, we see the arrangements for ring and radial final circuits. Now, I'm sure you'll remember that a radial circuit wired in 2.5 millimeters squared can be protected by a 20 amp MCB. Now, it's an interesting thought that when we convert to a ring, giving the electricity that additional path from the consumer unit, we don't double the amount of current the circuit can draw. You'll sometimes hear people say that, won't you? They'll say we've effectively doubled the cross-sectional area of the cable feeding this circuit by putting that extra leg in. Well, that's not quite true, because if it was, we could protect the circuit with a 40 amp MCB. And we can't do that, because no matter how carefully the circuit is designed, you cannot guarantee that exactly half the current will flow down this leg and half the current will flow down this leg. For example, if we were to plug a load in here, most of the current from that load would flow in this leg, and much less would flow in this leg here. This fact is kind of acknowledged and allowed for in Regulation 433.1.204, where it states that, and I'll just highlight the key points here so we don't lose the point, accessories to BS1363 may be supplied through a ring final circuit protected by a 32 amp protective device. The circuit shall be wired with copper conductors having line and neutral conductors with a minimum cross-sectional area of 2.5 millimeters squared. Such circuits are deemed to meet the requirements of regulation 433.1.1 if the current carrying capacity of the cable is not less than 20 amps. And if, under the intended conditions of use, the load current in any part of the circuit is unlikely to exceed for long periods the current carrying capacity of the cable. So, let's unravel that. What it's basically saying is that as long as the loading on the ring isn't expected to be ridiculously unbalanced, the cable needs to be able to carry at least 20 amps under normal conditions, as it's unlikely that the current flowing through any part of the ring will be higher than that. So, does it not make sense then that any connections that are made within the ring must also be able to carry at least 20 amps also? Hence the reason why this 16 amp rated inshore connection box would not be suitable on a ring final circuit, even if you use two, one for each connection. It's simply not what they're designed for. So we hope this has answered your question, be safe. As you know, each hot question we answer wins a pot of chili jam, so enjoy that, that'll be winging its way towards you. All that remains to be said in this video is, thank you very much for watching.